Hello everyone. My name is Jacob Mata and I'm an engineer and intern with Oilfield Basics. And today we will be talking about the mudway window, defined and explained. Let's start with key terms. The first term I'd like to talk about is mudway window. It is defined as the safe range of equivalent densities or pressures when drilling that avoids problems. This is important because low mud pressures result in small mud wall support, which can encourage shear failure, while too much pressure can encourage tensile fractures. Because of this, information and consideration for the mud window are vital in drilling operations. The mud weight window has both an upper bound and a lower bound, which depend on wellbore mechanical stability, as well as other requirements such as insider stresses and poor pressures. The upper bound is known as the fracture gradient and is the pressure necessary to induce fractures in formation at a given depth. The lower bound is referred to as the pore pressure gradient, which is a change in pore pressure as a function of depth. In areas of normal pore pressure, there can be predictable changes. For example, the hydrostatic pressure gradient, freshwater, is equivalent to 0.433 psi per foot or 9.792 kilopascals per meter. The diagram of the mud window on the right shows an example of the hydrostatic gradient, as you can see here. It is the blue line on the inside which has a consistent change of pressure with depth. The fracture gradient and pore pressure gradient make up the mud weight window, or safe drilling window, which is shaded in gray. Maximizing the mud window is extremely important to minimize the number of casing points within the well, as well as minimizing drilling times. This is because our mud weight is able to remain within the window for a longer period of time while drilling without having to pause operations to set casing and without falling below our lower bound of our mud weight window. Next, let's talk about mud weight window calculations. To determine a pressure gradient, we divide the pressure at a given depth by the depth or true vertical depth. On the other hand, if we have the gradient and want to solve for the pressure at a given depth, we can simply multiply the mud or fluid density by the depth. That is, assuming we have a similar unit of measure. For example, mud or fluid density in PSI per foot and depth in feet. It is common to be given the mud density in pounds per gallon. If this is the case, we can multiply the mud density by the depth and 0.052 to also calculate the pressure. Regarding the mud weight window, the calculated fracture gradient and pore pressure gradients are multiplied by the depth to determine both the upper and lower bounds of our window. Next, let's talk about the effects of the mud weight. Remaining within the mud weight window while drilling is important so that we do not encounter problems. Some of these are highlighted below. If your mud weight density is too low, this can result in pore pressure in the well that is insufficient to prevent fluid flow into the well bore, also known as a kick. It can also cause borehole stability to be lost. And lastly, it could also promote water production. On the other hand, if the mud weight density is too high, it can result in a reduction in drilling rate, an increase in pump pressures as a result of higher friction, an increase of liquid seepage into permeable zones, also known as a higher differential pressure, and damage to the formation by mud filtration. With that, I want to say thank you for listening to this presentation, and I hope to have provided some clarification and be sure to be on the lookout for future content and make sure to check out Oilfield Basics at oilfieldbasics.com as well as follow us on all of our social media platforms.